Welcome to this video presentation on the Sound Tower Pro 2 editor featuring all the bank and librarian features. To access the banks and librarian features, push the banks button right here. And here we see the four user banks and the four factory banks. It's recommended that you save out all the banks that are on the Pro 2 and in the editor out to the hard drive so that you can recall them at a later time in case you ever need them. And uh, so to do that, you would go to File, Save Program Bank, and here we can save any of the four user banks. So we'll click User Bank 1. It'll open up this directory and it's all set up and ready to name, so we just click OK. We can save that. And let's also save user bank two. And we won't do them all for now. So now we have the first two user banks saved. The factory ones we will save at a later point. Once those are all saved out, this page is a great place to audition sounds. You can just uh, click on the names and uh, play a few notes and find the sound you're might be looking for. This is just a great place that you can go through the sounds and, and find what you might be looking for. Now, a couple things here. If you do any editing on the Pro 2 itself and, uh, and not through the editor, the sounds that are shown on the editor may not be in sync with the ones that are on the Pro 2. So to make sure that the synth and the editor are locked up together, you would go to MIDI, go to Receive Bank, and we'll bring over User Bank 1. So this will bring the sounds that are in the Pro 2 over to the editor. So we'll just click Start. And now the programs from the Pro 2 are coming over to the editor. And this way we'll know for sure that uh, the editor and the Pro 2 are showing the same programs. In a previous video, when we were working on making changes, uh, let's say to the oscillator, we discussed the principle of those edits being made only to a buffer memory and not actually being saved to a program location in the Pro 2, unless we click Write Program. However, in the library and bank features on the editor, many of the things that we can do here are saved immediately to the Pro 2 and overwrite what is there. So if uh, there's a number of right-click features on these program names, uh, copy, paste, rename, uh, save a program, load a program from disk, and initialize a sound. If I perhaps uh, rename this sound uh, to square base, just call it square base two, I could change the category. We'll talk about categories in a minute. And save that. Now that has now changed that sound uh, the name, and it has changed it on the Pro 2 as well. So that will be permanent on the Pro 2 at this point. Uh, we can copy and paste sounds. Let's go back to Factory 1, and we'll just copy Square Base, and we'll bring it back over here and paste it. Now the name's back to where it was. So you can copy, pay, copy and paste sounds through here, uh, certainly. There is a feature provided uh, that you can... These little red numbers indicate that this is a sequence, a 32-step sequence, the A is for a, a program that has an arpeggiator set up. You can copy and paste uh, just the arpeggiator and, and the sequence sections of those programs and copy them or, and paste them over top of uh, other sounds. So that's another feature that, uh, that you can do with copy and paste in the, in the librarian. So that shows us all the features in the uh, user and factory banks. And the next thing I'd like to get to is uh, categories. Category is a very powerful section. And as you can see here, it just shows a, uh, a single bank. And we can pick any of the user or factory banks. It has all the, uh, the right-click features that we've seen before. Uh, one that we missed was uh, initialize. And what that does is uh, sets the sound to a very simple uh, two oscillator sound that I'll just show you here. It's just a great place to start to start building your own sound. Uh, but what is imp what's great here is a really powerful search tool. Uh, if, if I click keys, 
it searches all eight banks and finds all the sounds that have keys identified in the category. Or resonance bass. Or synth or vox or bells, or whatever it may be. And what this allows us to do is to quickly audition sounds that are in the same category. And once you find the sound that you like, it allows you to take it from any location and uh, move it to a, a spot that uh, might be a little more convenient. So we just need to copy, go back out to Banks, and let's say we want to put it uh, right here. So we just paste. So we paste liquid bells in here. And now it uh, might be a little more accessible for us. So category is just a great way to find uh, related sounds. Next, we'll look at the librarian. You can open librarian by clicking here. And you'll notice that the librarian opens up in a whole new window. And we get a new menu with uh, different functions. First, we'll notice that there's uh, kind of two sides to this. On the left side, we see a listing of all the sounds. We can see all the, uh, all the user sounds and all the factory sounds. And on the right side, this is where we can reorganize programs into uh, various groups. I made the recommendation that we could save all the uh, sounds to disk, and this is where we can do the factory sounds. Now, I've already saved out factory one, so let's, uh, let's go get the other ones. Let's pull up Factory 2 and save. Factory 2, already labeled, and we just click OK. Program Banks, save that. You know what, I'm gonna save three and four as well, just so I have them. Save three, call up four, save four. Okay, so we've saved all the factory banks. So on the right side here, this is where we can, as I said, we can organize things into various groups. And the way we do this is if I grab uh, user bank one, and let's say I'll just grab, oh, let's say up to 20. I can transfer these from here over to this side. I just hit this transfer arrow. Now it's asking me if I want to save the programs into corresponding library categories. There is a list of categories shown here that show uh, all the available categories available to uh, designate the sounds to. I'm gonna say yes in this case, so I'm gonna click OK. And what that's done, it's transferred all these programs over to this side, but it's organized them in these categories. So it, only, it seems I only transferred one organ uh, program there. I've uh, transferred two bright bases, five with sequences, and so on. What this will allow me to do is to collect programs that share a common category. So what I'm gonna do is start a new library. I'm not gonna save that one. I'm gonna select all these ones in program bank one and go through that. User bank two, I'm gonna do the same thing and bring them over. And three, yes, and four, yes. So what we now have is all the programs from all four banks organized into the, their groups based on category. So now we have some options. We could, let's say, the organ sounds. If we wanted to, we could save these out as the collection of all the available organ sounds on the Pro 2. So we can go save. We're going to call this uh, organ. So that is now all the organ sounds. Oh, here's a ton of soft leads. Let's collect all the soft leads. We're going to save this and go call these soft leads. And we can go through these, all of them, and save these out, uh, any numbers that we want to. This is synth, so we'll save one more set of synth sounds. This is very useful if we want to just have all the sounds that are currently on the, on the Pro 2 saved out uh, in, this, in this fashion. Now, what I, what I can do is I can take, I have the, currently all the synth sounds up. I'm going to collect 
highlight all these and I'm going to pop them back over into user bank four, no, user bank one. And I'm going to have them start right at the top of the list. And I'm going to transfer those over. It says, do you want to, it's asking if I want to replace patches one through 46 in this bank. And I'm going to go, okay. And that has transferred them all over. Over into this bank here. And when I come over to user banks, there they are. There's all the synth sounds that have now transferred into, um, into, the, into the user bank. And so this way, again, you can, you can do this and collect all kinds of different combinations of, of uh, programs so that you can call them up quickly. The other way to transfer from the left-hand side to the right-hand side is let's start with let's start go back to user bank here. I'm going to create a new library. It's going to ask me if I want to save this existing one. We've already saved it, so I'm going to go no. Now, what this is going to do is if I collect these, say again the first 20, and you notice that I have library highlighted here. You can highlight any one of these. I'm going to hide library not assigned. If I transfer these here and I don't send them to the corresponding libraries, it still brings them over, but what this has now done, this has now stripped the category name and has assigned them, and has assigned them to, the, in this case, library not assigned. If I was to grab another collection, it doesn't matter where, grab another collection here, and let's say I highlight keys and transfer, go no. These are now all named with the key category. Now, if you're just transferring all the, all the factory or the uh, the original user banks, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to strip the categories off of this. But if you are working on a collection of your own sounds, and let's say you're working on a whole bunch of bass sounds and have saved them out into the various program slots in the Pro 2 and on the editor, if you wanted to bring them over here and instantly just put a... Uh, Let's say a soft base category on all those patches. This is a place where you could do that so that they all get named properly, and then you could save them out as uh, as that group. Uh, there is all the right click options here, uh, similar to uh, the regular bank uh, right click options. You'll notice that there on the left and right hand side there is load and save features on both sides to save the banks, um, uh, receive and transmit. Uh, back and forth between the editor and the Pro 2. On this, uh, there's an edit feature here as well. If I hit uh, a patch here and go to edit, that will take me right back here. If I want to uh, want to do some editing on it, I can call up the editor and, and do some additional work if I want to. Librarian. And it has an import feature here. I'm going to dump this program here. No, if I import, it will take me out to this... Uh, this uh, library which we have, this directory which we have, and I can load banks from here. So if I could, you know, I've already saved out user bank one. I'm going to open that, and I'm going to go no. So there we go. So now that's loaded the, the entire bank in one go. So that's about it for banks and category and librarian. The last section in banks and uh, user banks and librarian is something called Phantom. And Phantom is a, a, an opportunity for you to collect programs into a number of banks of your choosing um, just quickly the way this works. I currently have uh, Squarebase selected. If I call up Phantom and go add current program. And then let's say I had uh, Dive Mob picked and I wanted to save that into this Phantom bank as well. I go Phantom bank, I click the new spot, add current program. Uh, I can go through this, I can save a whole bunch of these up, and then once I have a, a, a group that I want to call a bank, I can go up to this menu and save as, I can save this as a phantom bank, so I'm just going to call it pbank, oops, pbank1. And so I have started to create my own bank of, of sounds. Now it has uh, filled the bank up with uh, basic programs. There has to be something filled in for each one because I can call this up as a bank at, uh, at another point into, into one of the user banks. So that's the purpose of the user bank or of the phantom banks. It just allows you to create 
uh, banks and store them out uh, that are not necessarily associated through directly through the uh, through the program. So that concludes this video presentation of the Sound Tower Pro 2 editor featuring all the bank and librarian features. This is truly a great way to reach inside your Pro 2 to get your programs organized the way you want. It's so easy.